Hi, I'm Sailor from Here I Am Sydney. All creation, every creature, crafted by their creator, all testify of God's compelling love. Before the fall, every detail of his handiwork bore no trace of sin. Yet nature now represents its creator in a flawed manner, so that only God's word accurately represents his loving attributes. Yet, though flawed and imperfect, it still shows forth God's matchless love. Like the rose that sits upon the thorns, so does hope and comfort sit upon hopelessness and pain. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 30 says, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold, the fowls of the air. For they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? If God cares for the minute blade of grass, the white lilies, the singing birds, how much more will he care for his children, the ones he came to save? It is God's only desire to make us happy. And through his creation, he has sought to bind us to himself with the deepest and tenderest ties. Through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, we are now called his children. It says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 2, Beloved, now are we sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we shall know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Look around you at the beautiful nature that God has created, and remember the love that surpasses all others. Psalms 145, 15 and 16 says, The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand, and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. I'm Selah, and thank you for joining me at Here I Am Send Me 360. Have a blessed day.